Hey love bugs, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley B. Deck. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Today we're gonna be doing a hair tutorial. This one comes courtesy of Beauty Forever and they sent over the super realistic 13 by four kinky edge lace wig. I'm gonna be installing her for you from start to finish. This is gonna be a beginner friendly install so you know I got you covered. So without further ado, let's get into it. So this is me straight out of the shower. I put on this cute little Target set and my little Gucci scarf to feel good around the house, but I really wanted to get my hair done, so I did it. This is the wig straight out of the box. As I did mention, this is a 13 by four free part lace wig, so you can part, you know, wherever you'd like. It does come with the adjustable elastic band, but you guys already know I gotta take care of me. I gotta put me first. So you guys already know I've been using my Mayo Drops. I've been meaning to make some shea butter. I everything I needed to make it and it's been like two months and I still have not made it so hopefully that'll be a project I uh, get done this week so that I can start using that in me and my girl's hair but as I ramble this is the wig on and as you guys can see she comes with those 4c edges that are so popular these days I love the fact that the wig does fit me pretty snug I'm just gonna cut off any excess lace around the ear so that it fits even better you never want the lace to cover the top of your ears as a final result and this is what the hair looks like for the back feel free to go ahead and wash and condition your wig before install this is going to give you the best 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 look of all here i'm showing you guys the natural edges before we even touch and manipulate them and also here i am just um using my edge control from beautybeauty.com to slick down my natural edges because whenever i cut off the excess lace if they are wild and free it is very easy for these scissors to snip snip and cut some of that off so laying it down kind of just puts it out of the way that way i don't have to worry about cutting any of my edges off now you guys can get a realistic view of what the hairline looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous and I was kind of deciding do I want to manipulate them first or after we bond the wig down. As you guys see the wig does fit pretty good um, so you can just kind of leave it there and wear it glueless but I wanted a little bit of extra support and security. I do work out lately. I'm a workout girl so I went ahead and bonded it down with that even product. It is a glueless adhesive so I will be able to take it off at night. And here I am just looking at it and just, just trying to figure out exactly what I wanted to do. I knew I didn't want to do like soups or baby hair so I kind of just used some mousse which is like an alcohol base to kind of just applied it generously and dabbed off the excess wanting the edges to kind of curl up and naturally do whatever they want. I also noticed that I really didn't need to do um, any tweezing to this even though it looks very full. As you guys can see I haven't plucked anything out and as I slowly but surely trim them kind of like in their own natural way you can start to see the vibe and the vision of what I'm going for again I didn't want to necessarily manipulate them as far as tweezing them and I also didn't want to manipulate them as far as like um swooping them like baby hair I wanted them to kind of like go curly so you guys can see I'm using that mousse and kind of just teasing them so that they can kind of like curl up but do keep in mind these are like 4c curls this isn't like jerry curl curls so it does have more of a natural look here I'm stamping out a center part. I did mention that this is four inches of parting space so you can do a center part, a side part, no part, whatever you'd like. I personally prefer a center part with my kinky curly wigs. I just feel like it is the most complimentary. Now this step is optional but I am going to go in with the dynamic duo. This is my wax stick paired with the electric hot comb from my company bdeckbd.com and I'm just going in generously with that wax. That's going to kind of cancel out any extra frizz. It's going to give a little shine and hold and slick everything down um, and then I'm using that heat to kind of just lay everything flat. You guys know I don't like my hair too big in the center. I just don't like the look. But I do feel like this one could have worked that way. You're going to see what style I'm doing up in a few minutes and you'll see why this was going to come together. But here I am just pulling out those curls, giving it more of a kinky vibe. On the right, you can see what it looks like naturally. And on the left, you can see what it looks like pulled out with no product. Off camera, I went ahead and pulled out the remainder and I loved how big and beautiful it was. It definitely is going to look even better when you wash and condition. This is going to give it really, really, really that good 
genuine kinky vibe. Also, here I am tinting the lace. I added a concealer to the parting and a foundation powder to the hairline. Notice how with this wig, um, the powder and concealer that I always use looks a little bit lighter. I can definitely use something a lot more dark, especially along the hairline. And I did pack that product in so you can see how powdery it looks. But just wait till the very end. I am going to go in and do something that is going to help to cancel out that powdery look. Also here, I'm just teasing the hair and playing with the baby hair. Again, I don't want to swoop it, but I don't want it to be uniform. So I want some to go back, some to go forward, some to go sideways, and so forth. I went ahead and just defined a little bit of the curl by adding my mousse. And I loved the look that this gave. Again, you can do so many different kinky styles with this. Just think of it as natural hair. Do you want to wear it big and like an afro, you know, like combed or picked out? Do you want to wear it super defined? Here, I kind of did happy medium of using that product but not necessarily clumping it with a dimming brush i love the movement and body that it had i had to pull the camera back a little bit so you can really see the true essence of how beautiful this one is and now you can see why i really wanted the uh lace to be super flat because i was gonna go in with two twisties up here and i just used bobby pins to secure and i kind of like the way it looked but it kind of just looks like you know i'm wanting to be like a big baby in a way and here i am showing off my fake dimple my dad has dimples and I've always said I wish I had his dimples when I'm losing a little bit of LB sometimes you can see where it looks like a little fake dimple on my left side so that was me showing it off loud and proud but I didn't like the way it looked with two so I made it a little bit more mature and brought those two together with these little clips that I got from Target. I'll have them linked in the description box. And I love how beautiful this look. And I think that making the parting area super flat really, really made this pop. I love the way this look came out. It's absolutely gorgeous. Of course, you know, all the details on my particular wig are in the description box. And you can kind of pick a closure or different uh, lengths for this wig on the website. Here I am setting it off with some shapers to get rid of the powdery look and that's about it. Okay my baby so we are done with the look. Now I haven't put on any makeup. I'm about to go to swim lessons with the girls. Have like 10 minutes and I, do, I need to focus on making sure they have their hygiene stuff done for the day before we head out. Uh, mainly making sure their hair is together. They already brushed their teeth but Anyways, um, I didn't put on any makeup as I think I just said. I don't have time to right now, but I still wanted to do a quick intro and outro so you guys can see the look. Now, typically, I like to have on makeup just because I feel like it makes the look come together. It's kind of like when you go, um, how do you say it? Like when you go shopping and you try on clothes at a store, if your makeup is not done or like your hair is not done or both are not done, it's a lot harder to, set, to catch the vibe and like get the look together when you try on clothes, then like at least if one is done. Like, so my hair is done, but my makeup is not done. So I will do it and I'll come back and show you that. But just in case, you guys know, as I already said, when there's soccer mom days, sometimes I come back and like all of this is just, and I always wish I would have went ahead and like at least gave you a little bit of the tea when everything was fresh. So this one did come from Beauty Forever. It is a 13 by 4 transparent lace wig. It did come with the special little edges. And you guys can see how I finessed them and made them look super cute for me. Now I didn't want to like tweeze them out and thin them out. I didn't think it needed that. But they were a little bit too long for me. Which I feel like I always tell you guys with this type of look. When you get like curly edges, kinky edges, textured edges like this, um, typically they'll come a little bit longer and you have to realize that like it's a one size fits most type of situation. So if it came like short like this, this is way too short for some people and it's way too long for some people. Everybody has a different preference. So it already comes like set, but you can just trim it down to your liking and you don't necessarily have to tweeze it out. Just trim it to how you want it. And I think I did a great job with that. You guys already know Beauty Forever always hooks up with some little goodies. So for this one, they did give me um, a pack of HD wig caps. Um, I've been seeing this a lot lately and this is the like it's like a fake scalp type of tape where you can put it in there and it'll mimic your um, scalp in a way. I'm happy they gave me like a nice chocolatey brown color because I think this one will match better than the ones I've received in the past which are way too light. Um, they did give me a Beauty Forever melt belt which matches their packaging and then this is stuck closed but you guys already know another pack of wig caps. Um, pack of lashes, another melt belt, as well as cute little kabuki brush. 
So this is the hair and I love it. I feel like Megan the Stallion is bringing the, the big, beautiful, natural hair into trend. And I'm here for it. I love the fact that we have those natural edges at the front to kind of set it off. Everything about this one is super simple and easy to install and all of that. Love this look and I love the vibe. Hope you guys enjoy it. Direct link to this wig is in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.